A day after he reshuffled senior police officers, including two assistant inspectors general of police, newly Inspector General of Police John Martinez Okotho Chola has issued an order reorganizing the force. He merges the Oil and Gas Directorate with the Directorate of Counterterrorism to form the Oil and Gas Division. The new IGP also ordered that the supervision of police command in the regions and districts or divisions revert to the Directorate of Operations. Supervision of specialized units, ASTU, K9, Police Air Wing, Leire Police, Environmental Protection Police, Marine, Agriculture Police, Mineral Protection Police, Presidential Protection Group, reverts to the Directorate of Operations. Supervision of Special Investigations Unit, SIU, and Criminal Case File Tracking Task Force, CCTF, reverts to the Directorate of CID. Supervision of Flying Squad reverts to the Directorate of CID. Supervision of the Cybercrime Unit reverts to the Directorate of Forensic Services. Previously, most of these were under the direct supervision of then former Inspector General of Police General Kale Kaihura, who Ochola deputized for about seven years. Ochola instructed the Commissioner of Human Resource Management to fast track the changes with the Minister of Public Service and the concerned directors to report back on the reorganization process within one week. A human rights activist and lawyer, Nicholas Opio, who has extensively worked with the police, says Ochola's actions, including reversing some of General Kaihura's transfers, like moving AIGP Abbas Biakagawa from oil and gas back to counterterrorism, indicate that he had unresolved differences with his former boss. I think that there was discordance uh, between the two officers. One, a professional police officer believing in doing the right thing, and one that was hell-bent on perhaps pursuing a political objective. Opio, who has authored a report on police reform, says that one of the beneficiaries of the changes, a highly qualified lawyer, Fred Mirondo, was previously transferred from CID headquarters because he did not agree with General Kaihura on arresting political activists who were holding a press conference. He was transferred to go and deal with anti-cattle anti theft as to in Karamoja, simply because he provided a legal opinion that in his view, was sound, was, was correct, but the IGP didn't like it. Opio says Ochola has been in office for six days, has a huge task of cleaning up the police. He adds that the changes will build confidence in the majority of police force with over 40,000 personnel. Perhaps we're going to go back to a merit system where your appointment to uh, RPC is not based on your connectedness to the political class in this country. According to the lawyer, Ochola may not have enough time to transform the police from a paramilitary outfit into a pro-people force, but he believes this is time to remove the police from partisan politics. Because the appointment of an army man as Mr. Ochola's deputy itself is a statement by the, by the powers that be that they are unwilling to remove the army from the police. Above all, many people hope that the changes the new IGP is making would improve police intelligence and investigations in light of rising crime like killings, kidnaps and robbery. The rate of crime, the violent crime we have seen, uh, perhaps uh, has gone down. But I also do think that people expect Mr. Ochola to revisit the killing of Kagezi, the killing of Kawesi and provide this country answers. The new Inspector General of Police uh, Ochola might have started on a slate that might not be clean, just like the President had earlier said, the police force had been infiltrated by criminals. There are high expectations from the public, much as critics say that it's quite a time that is short for him to completely weed out the wrong elements. Sudil Yarhanga,